There is so much going on, street parties, festivals, parades, pageants. morning everybody and welcome to my platinum jubilee long bank holiday weekend vlog that was a mouthful i have the busiest weekend planned i know i say that every weekend but we have four days off so we have two bank holidays the thursday and the friday for the queen's platinum jubilee she's been on the throne i think is it 70 years is that platinum i think so and then the saturday sunday so it's a big long four day weekend and i have tried to cram it full of lots of plans i am just uh finishing getting ready and i'm about to head out and try and get to buckingham palace i think it's going to be mental because the trooping the color starts at 10 it's now five past 10 um which is basically like a big parade they normally do for the queen's birthday i think and they've rolled it up into one big celebration for her 70 years on the throne and people have traveled literally from all over the world to come and see this so i'm going to try and get around that area and have a peek i don't think i'll get very close you need tickets to actually go to the event i might end up turning up late and missing it but i just kind of want to be in the hubbub in the thick of it and feel the atmosphere because it's so I don't know, happy and joyous and patriotic and whatever in Britain right now. Like, there is so much going on. Street parties, festivals, parades, pageants, like, special restaurant events and dishes um, being introduced and cakes. And it's just going to be amazing. So I want to try and catch um, some sort of parade around Buckingham Palace, that sort of area. Um, catch the red arrows, the aeroplanes flying over if I can and then I'm going for afternoon tea with two of my work friends at 2.30 because you know that's such a traditional British thing to do and you know what what better time than now to do something like that to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee. We actually have sun in the UK today, it's gonna rain on the Saturday and Sunday but fingers crossed it won't but today it's really hot so I'm hoping I'm not gonna be too hot in this but I am you know trying to dress appropriately because I'm gonna be there from the morning until probably late evening just soaking up the celebration so wanting something I could wear all day long and I guess I can take this off if it gets too hot but let me know in the comments below if you're celebrating the Queen's Jubilee because I love to hear what all of you guys get up to any street parties you've attended I really wish I was attending a street party like my parents back home aren't having a street party but they're doing like a buffet with neighbours and family coming around and you know like finger sandwiches and little cakes and things so would really love to have been part of that but there's going to be so much going on in London that I think I would definitely be, be able to find something if I literally just walk along any of the main areas like Leicester Square, Piccadilly Circus, Oxford Street, any of those sort of areas, Buckingham Palace, there will be something going on and I'm going to take you along on that journey with me. Okay so the most traumatic thing ever just happened to me I do not like anything that stings. Bees, wasps, anything like that terrify me. I am that person who will get up and run away if a wasp comes over and this bee just flew into my, ah, <laughs> there's so much stuff down here. Bee just flew into my hand and like fully whacked into me. I'm walking down the shortcut to get to the station because it's just more convenient, but it's so overgrown and full of things that are buzzing and they're all in my face and flying at me not very nice. It was a quite scary experience. As you can see, it was insanely crowded in London, so there wasn't really an opportunity to get my camera out and vlog. I was trying to make sure that all of my belongings were safe and nobody could steal them. And I was mostly just trying to navigate my way around the crowds. But I wanted to let you know that I started around Hyde Park area. I couldn't get any closer to the palace than that because it was all cordoned off and you needed tickets to get in. So I just walked around this sort of general area to soak up the atmosphere 
and then headed towards the top of the mall, which again, couldn't get close, but got as close as I possibly could outside of the National Gallery and stood waiting for the red arrows, which the aeroplanes to fly over and was hoping to get a glimpse of the trooping of the color, but they actually didn't come this far down, but it was still an amazing experience regardless, simply because of all the cheering and chanting, the Mexican waves, all of the British flags. It was just such an impressive moment with so many people coming together to celebrate the same cause. Next, my friend and I went to have a traditional British afternoon tea at a place called the Wallace Collection. It's actually a museum, but they do have this sort of indoor conservatory style brasserie, which is so fancy. I'd love to come back and actually see the exhibition sometime and the tickets are free. So that would be a really lovely experience. And they currently have a Walt Disney exhibition on, which I'd love to pop in and see sometime in the coming months. But for now, we were just here for the afternoon tea. For anyone that doesn't know, that's like a traditional British pastime and it involves finger sandwiches, cream jam on scones and cups of tea and small like finger sized desserts as well. And finally, after our afternoon tea, we headed towards the Soho, Carnaby Street sort of area of London, which is really known for its bars and restaurants and shops, and rounded off the day with a bunch of cocktails. I just got in the house, took all of my makeup off and was about to jump into bed. I think it's like 11.30pm and then realised I've completely forgotten to vlog all day. London was so manic, it was literally heaving with people as you can imagine. I couldn't get anywhere near Buckingham Palace because they'd cordoned off a lot of the parks so you couldn't actually get through. And because there were so many crowds you just couldn't get moved in general. It was like walking through like quicksand or something like you would just or like treacle whatever the phrase is because I was stuck everywhere I went just trying to shuffle into tiny little gaps to get past people so I mean it was brilliant don't get me wrong I saw the red arrows fly over my head which was so cool and one of those things that when I'm older and I look back on like the platinum jubilee and people say what were you doing then I'll be able to say I was in London and 
I was by the, is it the British Museum? This, that's right next to Buckingham Palace? I can't remember. But I was there. <laughs> I better remember that for history books. And saw the, fa the aeroplanes fly overhead and it was great. And I really felt taken in by the patriotic cheer and um, the whole atmosphere of the Jubilee, which was great. Went for my afternoon tea, which was also delicious, but again, didn't really vlog because I was so swept up in chatting with my friend and having a really lovely time. Um, and then we went for cocktails afterwards at a place called Cahoots, which I can definitely recommend. Very like, is it 1920s sort of vibe perhaps? Um, really cool. They had it all decorated and bunting for the Jubilee. I went for a lovely like coconut rum, sort of like a pina colada type cocktail, creamy, and it was really good. And then went on to a place called Opium in Chinatown, which, I mean, if you have been there before, you it's a type of place that you just wouldn't even notice it's there. Like, you'd walk past it because it's a little hidden door in a wall somewhere that you just, it's hardly recognisable. But when you go upstairs, it's really, really lovely. They do the best dim sum. It was so tasty. I got mushroom truffle flavour, which was to die for, and... What was the name of the cocktail I went for there? It was kind of, it was about this big, it was really small and it tasted like a Bailey's. So, sorry, I'm just gonna sit down. I've been chatting for a while. Um, and it was like, yeah, it was like a creamy Bailey's type drink, which I also really, really enjoyed. And yeah, dim sum and obviously got on the train, came home and it's been such a long, tiring one. Took all my makeup off, so having to vlog with a very red looking face that's very agitated from the fact I've literally just taken my makeup off this second but didn't want to miss the opportunity to update you all on my day sorry that it's coming so last minute and not throughout the day I hate when I do this I always try and remember to talk to the camera as I go and update you as I go rather than doing a three minute ramble but it was just really hard to vlog because it was so busy and having a camera in one hand and a handbag in the other and my phone and my I nearly lost my cards at one point which was kind of stressful so yeah, sometimes I've just got to make sure I've got hold of my stuff and focusing on where I'm, where I'm going. But where I'm going right now is straight to bed because I'm struggling to keep my eyes open and struggling to string sentences together for this vlog because I'm so sleepy. So I'm going to finish my nighttime routine, wipe the rest of my makeup off and moisturise my face.